mostly I volunteered in the communications and development department with Han and Derek. When I was starting my AmeriCorps program, I was like, Dad, you know, I need to find some places to volunteer at. Do you have any suggestions? And um, we were sitting by my computer at that time, and he was like, well, what about Tacoma Community House? I came to the U.S. in 84. Okay. He said he started going to TCH around 85. Like, just basic ESL things and um, maybe helping fill out paperwork and stuff, he said. I remember seeing his books when I was like in second grade or something and he was, my dad was going to school too and I thought that was cool. I was like, yeah. It was really exciting because my dad, you know, he, he was like, yeah, I went there. And, um, <laughs> And so it would help him, I'm sure it would help several um, immigrants and stuff too, so I was really excited to start volunteering here. So my parents were farm people in rural Cambodia, and um, when the Pol Pot regime, like the Khmer Rouge, came into power, they had to flee the country, so they were living in a refugee camp in Thailand for a while. And um, all of my siblings were born in either Cambodia or Thailand. My two sisters that are twins were born in the refugee camp in Thailand. And there, um, they took, my dad took a few classes on learning um, a few like English phrases and stuff. So I found some of his little old notebooks mm -hmm. and he like took some mechanic classes and stuff too while mm -hmm. he was in the camps. He applied to get sponsored to the U.S. And um, before they get to the U.S., they had to go over to the Philippines mm -hmm. and stay in a few camps there. And then they finally came to the U.S. My mom and dad, they were sponsored to Tennessee by a Baptist church. And they only stayed there for 28 days because they had family members in Washington, so they got sponsored to Washington. I really take interest into um, learning about the refugee immigrant experience and like why it happens and usually it's because of war, you know, like they need to seek asylum somewhere else but even though it happened like in the 70s and 80s, I still now like whenever I find literature on it and stuff I get really excited. Since I was volunteering in different places, I definitely got to see the dynamic of the workplace. Yeah. And you guys are you guys seem very passionate about what you do and the services you provide for people and the students. And um, I mean, for you and Derek, you don't really get to work directly with the students, but you know, like what you do directly influences how much they get to have, like in their classrooms and stuff. And funding went on. That's really amazing. Yeah. Um, for volunteering at TCH, I definitely have a really big appreciation, more so um, I'm appreciative of nonprofits and what they do for the communities, especially at TCH, because my parents went here too.